The best tattoo of the day is pretty clear. We don't need a deliberation. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day. For 15 of you, you'll be back. One of you's packing. Tattoo baby. You got an easy to cover up, and you did a very beautiful tattoo. You got a lot to live up to in this competition, but you're going to give a lot of people a hard time. So let the battle begin. Greg. My client, one of the badass eagle man. What happens in this tattoo for me is that it's flat. These colors aren't popping as hard as they could because there's no black. Had you have put black, it would look that much more dynamic. You have the ability to do a really tough looking tattoo, and you obviously can draw. You have a winning combination. You got to put it to practice. The human canvas jury is deliberating right now. The verdict will put one artist up for elimination. Head back to the loft, and we'll call you back when we've made a decision. Today, we tested your flexibility by asking you to cover up prison tattoos. One of you made a solid first impression. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Tattoo Baby. Thank you. Jackie. How much research did you do on the spine? I stayed up for hours trying to research each section. You took your time to put the details in each bone. You made it look like bone. It doesn't come off as rocks. More than anything, you really surprised me, and it's a great surprise. Jackie, well done. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Craig. The little details you put in here, the precise fine lines you put in, the strands of those muscles, and the way you followed it with the shading, it's really nice. This is what you guys are competing against. And this is what we compare all of your muscle tissue to. At the end of the day, this is what you're fighting, not me. Today, you needed the precision of a surgeon to create realistic anatomical tattoos. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Craig. We felt like you did the best job. The color high popped out all the way to the detail. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Joey. This is a great job, man. This is one hell of an outline. It's all very straight. It's very perfect. Nice parallel look. I think the fact that you packed the color in this thing so solid makes this Celtic really stand apart. Super technical tattoo, man. This is great. Joshua? I have one big problem with this tattoo. OK. It wasn't the first one of the day so that I could reference your tattoo with everybody else's. Big problem. This is a perfect goddamn outline. It's consistently the same width all the way throughout the tattoo. It's very clean on one of the hardest surfaces. There was a statement made by Jimmy that I can't draw. I drew this goddamn thing. So, good for you. Thank you. Even better. All right, guys, the human canvas jury is deliberating right now. Their vote will put one artist up for elimination. What was that? You brought my name into your critique. Dude, you just look like a chump. What's your deal, Jimmy? I can't have a good moment. You know, I kicked ass on the tattoo. You drew a starfish. Awesome. You think someone should pat you on the back for a simple drawing that took six hours? I'm tired of Josh getting this far in the competition by half-assing everything, and I'm tired of just listening to his bull Craig, who did the elephant. I thought his composition was outstanding. It's a really graphic, dynamic design. However, in my opinion, Joshua gets the nod for doing the ribs as clean as he did it. Today, we tested your lines the most essential skill for a Celtic tattoo. Two of you impressed us. Two of you fell short. Joshua, Joey, 
your tattoos were the two best of the day. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Joshua. Congratulations, Josh. You gave the challenge exactly what it was that we were looking for. A straight, clean, one-pass outline, and you nailed it. Good job, man. Thank you. Jimmy. My favorite part of the tattoo is the little sugar skull on the shoulder. That is awesome. It's those little areas of greatness that give us the full confidence to go, this guy knows his Appreciate you guys' time. Tattoo, baby. Honestly, I don't think it, it looks like you. I think because of that realistic skull, they try to give it, it changes the features of your face. The artwork just doesn't read well because the actual tattooing is very nice. I thought you were going to run away with this one. This was yours for the taking. Chris, do you have a favorite of the day? Jimmy's tattoo. For fundamentals of black and gray and for strong shading, this is the best we saw today. Today, we tested your ability to smoothly transition from the darkest values to the lightest values to create killer tattoos. One of you impressed us, but three of you did not. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. Thank you. Congratulations, man. You came out and you showed how versatile you are. Really nice job. Thank you. Joey. The darkness and the richness in this really gives you the sense of dimension. Great job, man. It's good to see somebody shine. Kyle. With this tattoo, as you move up in the levels of the Coliseum, I just see you wear out. My inability to work with my customer seems to be something I struggle with. I'm going to figure out what Josh has. His ability to work with his canvas is amazing. You got dealt a tough card, but to be in the competition, got to clean it up. Tattoo, baby. I do like the shape of this tattoo, like the way it fits the side of the leg. I like the flag, the color works awesome. But you lose it in the faces. On one side of Lincoln's face, it would be darker, and you have white on both eyelids. That makes it unrealistic. That rich black silhouette of Lincoln's face carrying over to the other face is exactly what you need in this. It would have made the color pop. It would have made everything look so much better. You invented a half a portrait for nothing. You screwed yourself on this one. Photorealistic landmarks and dimension. How'd our field do overall? I was actually a fan of the Coliseum. Done by Kyle, graphically looks cool. I'm actually glad he put a lot more dark and not much shading, because it's readable from a distance. Personally, I think ES had the worst dimension I ever I just, I hate it. ES had poor dimension for sure, but Joshua's has no dimension. Yeah, Joshua's was super flat. The statue that was up close was the same line weight as what was in the background. Today, we tested your ability to use dimension to tattoo a familiar landmark. One of you impressed us. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Joey. It's a beautiful tattoo. You really created a lot of depth and dimension with it. Congrats. Thank you. Joey, let's start with you. I like the tattoo. I'm attracted to her. You know, she's beautiful. This is kind of what we mean when we're looking for pinup exaggerated proportion. You took a lot of liberties with making this girl look extra sexy. And her thin waist, her nice butt, long legs, really great. I think you did a really good job. Thank you. Jimmy. You know, overall, I think you did a great job. She's cute. The outfit, the detail in the shirt is awesome with the wrinkles. This position, very, very hard to pull off. It's easy to make a girl look believable and cute when you show every shape of the body and the shoulders and everything. But the fact that she has no neck, the fact that her hands actually cross the barrier of being in front of her face, proportionally, it's totally believable. You really did a good job on this. Today, we tested your ability to use proportion to make pinup tattoos insanely hot. One of you wowed us, but three of you were less than perfect. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. 
the different tricks that you pulled off are what we're looking for when we're looking for somebody to hold the title of Ink Master. Thank you. Joey. Your attention to detail, wow factor for me. Along the legs, along the sides, to see you ink on your canvas with the scissor hatching, the style that I'm familiar with from comic books, I was pretty impressed, because it's hard enough to do it on paper, and you're pulling it off on skin. I didn't really know until I started how much time that was going to take. Yeah. So I was like second guessing myself at some points. Tattoo baby. How are you feeling this week as opposed to last week? I guess I feel a little bit better because I let it out. Well, what you did here, I love. I think you came back really strong. There's some incredible detail, especially in the hair. Those teeth are really, really beautiful. The question I have for you, why does it just end the way it does like that? I had a little bit of issues with time, doing all those little lines. If I would have gone any lower, then it would have brought down the quality. Great job, though, overall. The texture in the jacket and the small little fine details with the very fine lines that you used look great. How did it feel do overall? I love Joey's work. Catwoman just came out spectacular. The playfulness, the danger, the pose, he captures everything. Just the black that he had in it with his line work makes it a real bang up tattoo. And Joshua, who did Bane, that's a clear winner. It really captures that ferocity we expect to see in Bane. Today, we asked you to show consistency by tattooing a supervillain. One of your supervillains was badass, but three were mediocre. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Joey. Joey, you captured the essence, the playfulness, the danger of Catwoman. It looks like it was peeled from the pages of the comics and pasted on flesh. I love everything about it. Thank you very much. Tattoo Baby. Portraits is something that I do a lot at home. I've had chances where I've shown stuff that I like to do and I haven't like nailed it, so I really wanted to redeem myself. As far as the accuracy on the tattoos, it totally looks like the guy. The only criticism I have is the right eye, a little bit darker in the photo, but you put that highlight in there and that's your own artistic license that makes the tattoo even look better. Just those little things that you can do as a tattooist to add to something that's a photo, it makes it more dynamic. In the collar of the shirt itself, the whole real photo is dark and you put the little highlights in to really capture the essence. The extra added touches that you gave to this tattoo really brought your tattoo to life. And this is the reason that it was hard to see you go, oh, well, I want to get out of here. This is what people are going to remember. If you go out on your shield, at least you went out like this. All right. Thank you. Joshua. Were there any challenges with this canvas? She has all those wrinkles. For me, it was how do I show the main ones without throwing a spider web across her face? I really like this tattoo. She's got a great character. You took liberties to smooth things out, but you still captured her essence. All right, guys, the best tattoo of the day is pretty clear. We don't need a deliberation. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day to Tattoo Baby. Today you came back and you did a great job. You stood up for what you know how to do and what we believe that you can do. You did a great job, very happy for you. Jimmy, let's start with you. How was this for you, tattooing the head? Uh, it was awesome until he came back and he had about a one inch scar just right from where the eagle's head starts all the way back wrapping around. Tucking it under the ear, you shorted yourself on the composition. I'd like to see the other claw. If you could have fit that other claw in, it would have just made it so much more dynamic. Joey. I like the placement and the curvature of the gecko goes with the shape of her head. I think that's really good design. I don't feel like these guys, I'm the odd man out. I don't like the way that you have the outline on this tattoo. And I, don't I was know using was... different line weights also. I mean, I know it's it's it was definitely. Ah, but that foot, look how many different size lines are on that foot and the ball's on the outline of the weird toe that comes out the back. Are you talking about the shadow or are you saying it comes to a ball? Oh, no, like, I'm talking about, look at that back weird toe. Look yeah, at that point on the top of that back weird toe. It's just a dot. I've seen you do some amazing outlines throughout this competition. This, to me, in my opinion, is not one of them. Today, we asked you to show your ability to use finesse by tattooing your canvas's head. 
Two of you did incredible tattoos and are one step closer to the live finale. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. The application, nobody can deny, is just clean, solid, tight tattooing. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Joey, let's start with you. You got Corey Miller's design for the four-in-one tattoo. The main thing I wanted to see from this is a good use of background where it doesn't overcome the image. What I don't like about it is you went so dark in the background that you lose that shape of the head. I tried to have some darks in there and then some super lights, like the top left wind cloud. That's barely even in there. You basically have the same tones on the inside of the mouth and the outside of the cloud when you refer to foreground and background. One can't be the same as the other. Let's move along to artist choice. Tell me about this design. It looked like you had different photos taped together to create a tiger. I like trying to put stuff together so it's not like the same generic tiger done over and over. It's a tough tiger. The mouth on this thing is great. I really do like the way that you did the details in it. But if you get in and you inspect it, it doesn't have that strong nose and that ridge line. If you open a tiger's mouth like that, they wrinkle completely. You translated it different, playing with three different photographs and piecing them together like that, it's tricky. Jimmy. The main thing that I wanted to see from you in this challenge is something different. Every challenge you've done throughout the wait, there was always that little bit of your own flavor in there. So I wanted to see none of your own style in this tattoo. That being the goal, I think you hit it. The way you used very minimal line work and used your shading off of that line work to build the structure, and that's the way this West Coast black gray style is. This is a big notch in your belt today. Let's move along to your artist's choice canvas. This is beautiful. She's adorable. Without that chewy tattoo, you might have been still stuck in that pigeonhole. In the end, you did something that's 100% you. It was more of a safer route. I felt comfortable with it. This is the tattoo that's supposed to take us to $100,000. Overall, you as a competitor, you came and you competed, and you delivered exactly what you had to deliver to make sure that they have to fight to stay. Thanks, guys. Today, we gave you an epic challenge to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000. Based on your tattoos, one of you is going home. Jimmy, Joey, the two of you had the top tattoos of the day. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. The juxtaposition between the fine line black and gray and your new school style, it really showed that you are versatile. Congratulations, Jimmy. This means that you have secured your spot in the live finale. I won't let you guys down. I promise. I'm going to bring it. All right, Joey, you're up next. Let's bring out your master canvas. <laughs> Chris Nunez. Joey, looking at this tattoo, man, you put a lot of time and effort into doing this. And the one thing that we're missing in this is we're missing that rich contrast, which you do see in Tattoo Baby's tattoo because of the use of black. What I pick immediately when I look at this is that if you look at the same color, whether it be blue, whether it be flesh tone, what the color may be, you're only one shade off from the next color as if you're picking it right off of the shelf. You know, you have to make things pop and you have to be able and willing to go ahead and commit to the palette that you're picking and go ahead and use that black, man. In my defense, though, in a lot of the underwater scenes that I did research, that that background is just one shade off in the background. And I understand what you're saying. Like, as a tattoo, yes, it probably needed more contrast. And I did try and go back in and add some black just to add the depth so it looked like it was, she was close and it was farther away. Um, I guess but I just didn't What we're that. looking for in this, and you know well enough from being here for this many weeks and from standing in the shoes you're standing in, is something that's gonna pop, you know? This tattoo is a beautiful tattoo. It just lacks a certain amount of pop. All right, Chris, thank you very much. <laughs> Jimmy, you're up next. Let's bring out your master canvas. Wow. Let's hear from Chris. 
You know, Jimmy, you've impressed throughout the competition. You've, you know, you've been a strong, solid tattooer. And with that being said, you and I had a conversation one day when we were in your room and you were like, man, these kids need to know better than to be putting all that background on. I don't put unnecessary background on. I stay away from that. And I think that you overthunk your position in this. The background that you did in here probably was unnecessary. And your standing of just doing three solid images and doing it your style after 20 plus years of tattooing in the style that everybody's known to grow and love, you didn't do. You abandon your style in this particular piece, in a sense. And I feel like the center skull doesn't look like you did it. It doesn't look like a Jimmy Litwak skull. Well, I wanted to come show you versatility. I didn't want to come out like, my style is what got me standing here in this position. 100. But I wanted to show my versatility to show you that I could hold that title. And I think that Jimmy tried to play to every sense instead of staying in Jimmy's head and doing Jimmy. And you did do Jimmy the entire competition. But on this particular piece, this doesn't look like Jimmy was comfortable. Congratulations to all three of you. You've all created incredible work, but only one of you will walk away with the title of Ink Master. Jimmy, all through this competition, man, you've excelled. You've been, you know, both of you guys, you've led the pack and with good reason. You know, you're a well-known name in this business. You're a guy that anybody who owns a shop or anybody that aspires to be a better tattooer would be happy to work, be working around. You know, it's a, it's a great thing to see somebody great end up at the top and against this field, you ended up exactly where you're supposed to. You know, as far as this tattoo, it, it, was the, it was the tattoo I needed you to just send home. You know what I mean? I needed you to bang it. So I'm happy, I'm happy, happy, happy that a real tattooer is standing up here and that you've left your mark forever on the industry. Your fans will always be happy for what you did. Thanks, Chris. Well, let me open by saying this, Joey, you've never, ever been at the bottom. You've won twice, but you've never been at the bottom, Jimmy up four times, down twice. It's a 50-50 flip of the coin. It's amazing. Yeah, three. Best tattoo on Asian day, too. There was no winner. I, I know, but who had the best tattoo? <laughs> no winner. So here we go. I think that you have shown a great, you've had a great outing, man. You know, you've done a lot of the different things that people are looking for. And I, you know, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. On the line, $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Jimmy, Joey. Joey, you do have what it takes to be Ink Master. Congratulations, man. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next season.